thank you very much for joining us. There was a time where research was saying there's 75% unemployment in Alexandra. Just tell us about some of the interventions that have been done over time. Uh, of course, uh, you know that Alex is one of the highly concentrated townships in the province and therefore uh, it's not uh, 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 unusual to have those high rates of unemployment. Of course, the fact that people when come, they come from other areas, they first they descend in Alex and of course spread their wings in different parts of the province, talk to the, the issues and challenges of immigration. Therefore, uh, what we've been doing over the years, of course, is uh, there's a lot of intervention that government has done. The city together, the provincial government, in looking into how housing issues in looking into decongesting Alexandra and make sure that people have got decent living conditions. But most importantly, I think the issues around the unemployment, um, it's work that we're intensifying now, working with the different stakeholders, including the private sector, uh, targeting young, unemployed young people, looking at the skilling them, issues of placement and those who've got businesses and entre who are entrepreneurs uh, looking into what is that we can support them, not only getting financial support or non-financial support, but also help them to get access to markets for, for their different uh, programs that they are they're doing. What, what is the strategy though uh, for economic development as it focuses on, on townships? Is it merely just uh, find young people, skill them or are there opportunities? Is there potential to develop some kind of industry that is in the township where, where in Alexandra people don't have to go out to Sentinel or other areas or to Limbro Park but they can also be here working on some productive processes that produce something meaningful? Yes, we are there is a lot of work we're doing. Uh, I think in June we'll be launching one of the youth enterprise hubs here in Alex. I'm not sure exactly whether here we're next to where we stand or just about somewhere in, in Weinbeck, uh, which is going to support young people from those who are active in the automotive sector. Not only that they are active, their work up, work that the things that they're producing will end up in Roslyn uh, supporting either one of the big uh, manufacturing companies, whether it be the BMW or whether it be Nissan or be Ford, those companies located including those who are simply having facilities to assemble here. The second kind of work that we're doing, uh, in, we'll be doing in the enterprise, uh, in, in the townships hub, is to support those who are in the services industry, whether they are they own car washes or they want to own internet cafes and all of that. So that will be linked to that. We're also working with the private sector companies like MTN and, and many others, uh, including ICT companies, on what is that we can do better to support entrepreneurs in Alex, those who are active in the ICT space, from manufacturing or from design of um, of mobile solutions or from the multimedia applications which can be utilized and can be we can support these young people through the innovation hub those ideas can end up somewhere in the global market there's a lot of work that we're doing as i said we'll be launching this um for the one of the youth enterprise hubs here in alex uh, in june and there'll be five of them throughout the province now just manufacturing i mean what uh, looking at Gauteng as a province what is our perhaps biggest possible outlet in terms of growth, in terms of addressing these high levels of unemployment. Is there a possibility of some kind of manufacturing structure to to, to, to send products out into the world? Is there a possibility of something like that? There's a lot of things that are happening in Gauteng. I think uh, we need to try and get the media to, to visit and go with us to look at what's happening from steel manufacturing to uh, things that are from the, when they get out of the steel plants uh, into um, a fabricated and they get into 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 the automotive sector to uh, things that are being manufactured uh, make manufactured uh, from electronics which are supporting the mining industry all of those things are happening in the province and we're looking into other things that we can do better um, in supporting the private sector or working with the manufacturing circles for instance there is work that uh, the, the our pharmaceutical companies are doing recently we launched um, an expansion factory uh, by adcock just not not for uh, around nazarek which is seeking to uh, to increase its capacity in the pharmaceutical sector. We know what Aspen is doing uh, around the Sando. There's many, many other things that, that are happening from um, uh, refineries that are owned by a uh, private sector uh, to, 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 to things that are being produced um, by the textile industry in, in getting those things out, out of the province, including agro-processing. How do you make sure that when farmers produce things out of the fresh produce market, those that can be um, uh, 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 agro-processed, uh, 
there and, and, and convert it and, and be sent out of, out of the country, those get out of the country. So there is a lot of work we're doing. As I said, I think we need to partner differently with the media so that we can see what the Gauteng economy is capable of. Also from an export point of view, supporting these SMEs. Thank you very much. Katani Matlango is MEC for Economic Development in Gauteng, talking broadly about provincial economic development work, but also a little bit about what's happening here in Alexandra.